Hello, and welcome to Kenworth Connects. Whether you're a driver or a dealer, owner or enthusiast, this program is all about connecting you with industry experts on all things Kenworth. I'm Genevieve, and I'm here at our studio in Kirkland, Washington. I'm so excited that you've joined us for our program today on driver assistance systems. I think we can all agree that being a truck driver has never been more difficult. When you consider a pandemic that has gripped most of 2020, we have really increased attention on the complexities of this job. That's on top of increased traffic, regulation changes, and new technology um, in the form of truck and engine technology that has really changed the game for a lot of our drivers. At Kenworth, we love our drivers and we pride ourselves on designing trucks that really cater to their needs, including helping protect them behind the wheel. And that's why we have partnered with Bendex. They're an industry leader in driver assistance systems and they've developed the Fusion program. And since then, we have made the Fusion standard on the T680. To help explain what Fusion is all about, I want to welcome our industry expert to the program. Fred Andersky is the Director of Demo Sales and Service at Bendex. Welcome to the program, Fred. Thanks, Genevieve. Good to be here. All right, so there is a lot to talk about here, so let's set, set the stage. I don't want to assume that everyone knows what Fusion is, so can you give us a brief overview? Sure. Fusion is an advanced collision mitigation system for commercial vehicles. It uses a camera working with the radar and the braking system to help drivers reduce the number and severity of rear end crashes. And internally, you kind of refer to it as the 77 rule. What's that all about? Well, the 77 rule actually came from one of our fleets and really more than a rule, it's a result. And what the result is, is when this fleet added collision mitigation technology to their vehicles, they discovered they were getting a 70% less incident of rear end collisions and a 77 and a 70% reduction in the severity of those remaining 30%. Now, depending on your fleet's operational profile, you know, you might get a little better, you might get a little worse, but most all fleets who add collision mitigation technology are seeing an improvement in the reduction of rear end collisions. That's really impressive. All right, I wanna get into that more, so let's break it down, no pun intended. I know that before we met to chat today, you had gone out to the track and filmed some demos, so thank you so much for doing that. I think if a picture says a thousand words, then a video probably is a million. So why don't we start with a rapid approach? That sounds good. So the rapid approach scenario, Genevieve, is something I'm sure you're pretty familiar with. I think we're all familiar with it. You're out on the roadway, you're going about 50, 60 miles an hour, and traffic is keeping the same flow. Everyone's going together really well. And then you get distracted for a second, you look down, suddenly you look back up, everybody's slowed down to like 10 miles an hour. That is a situation that can be devastating for a truck driver. So we're gonna watch a clip and we're gonna be going down the road and we're going to show you what the fusion technology can do to help the driver mitigate that potential crash. Tom in the forward vehicle is ahead of me. We're going to approach him. System's going to alert, intervene, cut my throttle, apply the brakes. So we got the alert. Uh, half second later, cut my throttle and applied the brakes, slowed us down so we didn't hit the forward vehicle. So as you can see, when triggered by the slower moving vehicle ahead, fusion sensors help generate an early read on the situation and alert the driver. Then the driver doesn't do something, will cut throttle and deliver braking to help the driver mitigate the rear end collision. Now during a potential rear end collision, this new version of fusion can actually reduce up to 50% more of the speed than the original fusion system. All right, so that in that scenario, the vehicle was moving. What about a scenario where the vehicle's already stopped? 
That's a great one, Genevieve. So say it's a dark night and the driver is going about his or her business and um, you know, they're driving along and all of a sudden there's a stalled vehicle, no lights on in the middle of their lane. And we've all heard about those types of crashes and they can be devastating. But Fusion with the camera and the radar can help the driver in this situation. So let's take a look at this clip. So we are going to do a stationary vehicle break with our Kenworth T680 with the Fusion with Enhanced Feature System. There's my stationary vehicle up ahead and I'm gonna try to get up to probably about 35 miles an hour. We will let the system intervene. It's gonna alert me first and then cut my throttle, apply the brakes to help mitigate the collision. We're at about 3.5 and oh! There we go, we got the alert, cut my throttle, applied the brakes. That is stationary vehicle braking fusion with enhanced features. You know, Genevieve, this is one of those scenarios, again, where the radar and camera working together really um, delivers for the driver. You know, the radar will see the metallic object, but it doesn't know what it is. And the camera verifies that it's the rear end of a vehicle. That gives us the opportunity to alert the driver and again, reduce throttle, apply the brakes to help them mitigate that collision. It's important to keep in mind that we are buying time for the driver because it is driver assistance, not driver replacement. So we do want the driver to get engaged. Now, by using the two sensors, we can verify the situation and react, typically with less false alerts and interventions versus single sensor, like radar only systems. If we don't recognize the vehicle, we'll deliver a stationary object alert to help the driver uh, get an opportunity to slow, swerve, or brake to avoid that potential crash. So speaking of braking, I was curious to know how much of this was using the tractor brakes versus how much of this was using the trailer brakes. It's a great question because obviously the more brakes you're using, the better it is. And we use the brakes on the tractor and the trailer, but we apply about 100% of the available braking on the tractor and we pulse air back to the trailer to engage the trailer brakes. You know, trailers last forever in this industry and we don't know if that trailer has an ABS system on it, has a trailer roll stability system or doesn't have anything at all. So by pulsing the air, we can kind of simulate that uh, ABSing to help avoid the trailer wheels locking up and it swinging out. So do you find that there's a better fit for this technology when you're comparing drums to disc brakes? Well, you know, Genevieve, both drums and air disc brakes will work with the technology. But based on my experience at our demos, I really have to give the lead to air disc brakes in terms of really being able to complement Fusion's emergency stopping performance. And the reason for that is air disc brakes can deliver more stopping power with less fade. But don't take my word for it. Take a look at this clip. As you can see, the more you brake, the more opportunity for fade on drum brakes versus disc brakes. And that fade could be the difference between a crash and a close call. Fred, thank you so much. I really appreciated the videos too. That really helped show us the technology in action. I, unfortunately, that's all the time we have, but I really wanna to talk to you more about this. Would you be willing to come on the program again? Uh, absolutely, Genevieve, be my pleasure. All right, a big thanks to Fred and a big thanks to the entire Bendix team for being pioneers in this space. Uh, Fred, if people wanna get a hold of you, what's the best way to contact you? 
Well, thank you, Genevieve, and thank Kenworth as well for working with us on our technology. To learn more, best place to start is www.bendix.com. You can also visit our www.knowledge-doc.com as well as www.safertrucks.com. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today. And we really appreciate you tuning in to this program on driver assistance systems. I'm Genevieve. And until next time, let's stay connected.